Yesterday we talked a little bit about styles and how styles added some functionalities to tags that already existed in your web page. Today we talk about JavaScript. JavaScript is used to bring interactivity to your website. So in other words, if you click on a, a website and it tells you that today is um, you know, Monday, June 1st, and tomorrow you go to that same website and it says, say is Tuesday, June 2nd, and the next day you go to the website, it says today is Wednesday, June 3rd. All that is done using JavaScript, <coughs> excuse me, JavaScript behind the scenes. When you take your mouse and you go over a button and the button gets big, that's JavaScript. When you fill on a form and you forget to fill on a specific field and you click the submit button, but it doesn't get submitted, it highlights the field you forgot, that's JavaScript doing that for you. JavaScript brings interactivity to a web page. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to copy this today, all this code here, and Command C. And I'm going to go over to a text wrangler and I'm going to paste it in here <coughs> and I'm going to save it as javascript1.html javascript1.html and uh, I think I'll try to find it or put it on that folder I use Colorat, there it is. You'll put it in your web folder. Now let me tell you what's going to happen. So here is your traditional doc type. This says HTML5. Here's your opening HTML, your opening head, and your closing head. I'm not going to even have a title on this. Here's your body. And right here in the web page, I have a P tag and a closing P tag, and right here, I have absolutely, right here, no text. The text should be right here where the cursor is. There's nothing there. But I've identified this area on my web page. I've identified it with demo. So ID is an attribute of the P tag. The value of ID is demo, and it identifies this area of my web page as demo. I'll use that in a little bit. Now this script says you've got some JavaScript coming. Everything from this script down to here is JavaScript. Okay, I'm going to make a new date object and I'm going to call it D. Think of a date object as like a ball. It's a thing, a ball, that inside the ball it has the number of seconds from January 1st, 1970 to right now. And also inside that ball, there's a whole bunch of functions that can subdivide the number of seconds from January 1st, 1970 to right now. It can subdivide those seconds and actually figure out what year it is, what month it is, what day it is, and what time it is. All that capability is now inside this D object. So D is that ball that's a date object that has all that functionality. Okay. Think of day as a list, an array, but we say an array is a list. And I'm going to include Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday in my list. Now, unlike Snap and Scratch that starts at position zero, Sunday's at position one, Monday's at pos excuse me, excuse me, I'm wrong. <laughs> Sunday's at position zero. Monday is at position one, Tuesday is at position two, and Saturday would be at position six. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say document.getElementById demo that says, hey, let's go up to this area right here and let's put something. What are we going to put? Today is, in quotes, that's a string, and a plus sign. And don't go to a next line, just type this all on one line. Plus, that's a concatenator. Day sub, and then d dot get day. Holy cow, what's that? Well, let me tell you that day sub zero is Sunday. Day sub one is Monday. 
day sub two is Tuesday, day sub three is Wednesday. So when you guys run this in class, it's gonna say today is Wednesday. Well, how did it do that? Day sub, and imagine this right here becomes a three. Why a three? Well, it's Wednesday. So this is position zero, one, two, and Wednesday would be three. Day sub three refers to Wednesday. Well, the question is, how did this become a three? D is my object right here. And get day, open and close parentheses, that's a function that returns numerically the day of the week is, it is. Well, Wednesday's a three. Now, day sub three refers to that element in position three of our list. And when you run it, that's what's gonna happen. And then guys, it just has some other stuff here that totally is not impacted by any of this. This is the most important stuff. Okay, I want you guys to run that. And what I'm gonna do, real quick, is I'm gonna open up this and I am going to go to that website. I'm going to find Nicole Lerat. Let's see if I can find this. Okay, there it is here. And I should see JavaScript 1. And there it is, guys. I'm doing this, um, I'm doing this Tuesday afternoon. You guys know I'm in Pittsburgh, so I'm doing it Tuesday afternoon. So today is Tuesday, but tomorrow it's going to say today is Wednesday.